He's not a superhero, nor a poet, or a king. He doesn't drive a car or do much of anything. But he's hairy. Scary? No, hairy. He has no superpowers, and I've never seen him fly. No secret hideaway, and no all-seeing eye. He's just hairy. Hairy. He's most definitely hairy. Hairy. His name is Jeremy, and he's hairy. Unquestionably. Hmm. Today's the 1st of April. April Fool's Day. This makes Jeremy very nervous because, as you may imagine, April Fool's Day is Chucklesaurus's favourite day. Ah, gotcha! <gasps> no, sighs Jeremy. And there are still three hours left. Jeremy sees a juicy plum ripe for picking. Ah, got you again! Laughs Chucklesaurus. Jeremy decides that the only way to avoid any more practical jokes is to find somewhere nice and quiet and a long way from Chucklesaurus. So he climbs Greystone Mountain. Oh, peace lost. Oh, what a lovely view. Ha! Ah, April Fool! <sighs> I'll get my hands on that scaly earth. Jeremy's so angry he pushes Chucklesaurus off the side of the mountain. Perhaps now at last I can get a little peace and quiet. Jeremy heads home for a nap. But just as he begins to doze, the twins arrive. Jeremy, Harry, Jeremy, Chucklesaurus is missing. We think he may be hurt. Jeremy feels guilty. Maybe he did overreact a little, and after all, Chucklesaurus is his friend. Oh, I suppose I'll better go and rescue him. So Jeremy picks up his climbing rope and heads for the long, steep climb up the mountain. Jeremy finally reaches the spot where he pushed Chucklesaurus over. Chucklesaurus! Ho, oh, Chucklesaurus! Grab the end of the rope! Maybe he's hurt and cannot reach it, says Squawk. <laughs> this is more fault he's down there. I suppose I'd better go and look. And with that, Jeremy lowers himself over the edge. Well, this is a mystery. The rope is lowered, and Jeremy is hauled back up the rock face. Ha! April Fool! Ha! <laughs> Jeremy is very glad that April Fool's Day only happens once a year.